Hey, my loves. This is your girl, love. I'm looking at my phone right now. I'm coming to you. Doing a video on last night catfish reunion show. And it was kind of fast paced to me. It seemed like they didn't really, they tried to squeeze everybody into a small one hour show. And every episode was one hour. So they tried to squeeze like how many? episodes into one whole hour show and it was kind of hard so they were kind of like hurrying up going through i don't know if my music is still loud in the background okay maybe you can hear me now but they were trying to hurry through questions but i'm going to start with the most boring ones because a lot of them because some episodes was more interesting than others i kind of forgot about some like um Melissa and Jared I forgot about them I don't know if you forgot about them but I definitely did uh, Melissa and Jared was Melissa was more of the heavy set girl and she lied to Jared about who she was but they're um they're still friends and um Basically, I don't think you will remember them either because I really didn't. They weren't really important to me. But if they were important to you, they're still close friends and everyone said they're cute colorful and they should be together. But Jared's like, no, because she lied to me, so I can't be her friends. Um, Matt and Kim. Matt was the guy who were, had like the hidden rap music about bitches and Holes, and I diss her and I treat her like this and he was the like the football athlete guy and he was lying about his weight and Kim went to see Kim was um a plus size girl too and she went to see him and found out like he was um overly obese and he was ashamed of it but they were they're still close friends and Matt lost over 200 pounds and he's still losing weight. Bravo to Matt. I thought that was so awesome. And they're not together. But they are, they have separate. They are in a relationship. They are in a relationship separately. Which I think is awesome. But they still talk every day. Um, who else? Uh... Joe and Carrie Ann. Joe was the country boy who thought he had fell in love with a uh, 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 Playboy Bunny. Now, I knew this one was fake. Now, you, you see my country accent come in when I started talking about country and people. I don't know why I do that. I'm, I'm a character. But, yeah, Joe thought he fell in love with porno star. A play, I'm sorry, a Playboy bunny. And come to find out, it was his best friend, Rose. Supposedly his friend, Rose. And she was playing a trick. And she thought it was entertaining. And she was addicted to it. But he made her shut it down and said she was, he was going to be friends with her. As long as she promised not to do it again. But a week later, she got back on it. And they stopped being friends. Now, when they got onto the stage for the reunion, he distanced himself far away from her and went sit by her. And he said he would never speak to her again. And Rose tried to put him on blast and said he got arrested for what I tried to go on the internet to figure out what he got arrested for, but it's not on there quite yet. But I'm pretty sure it will, and I'm going to let you know I'm up to date for that. And um, Rose is still on there catfishing people and come to find out she got catfished when she was 14 years old she fell in love with some girl and she lied about who she was and disappeared on her that's why she doing it to other people but joe was like if somebody did it to you why would you turn around and do it to somebody else hmm but then again the host uh 
I forgot her name, but she liked to have Asian lady. She was kind of boring too. I wish they would have got somebody else to do it. But she was kind of trying to, you know, trying to say, well, so it happens that way when somebody do you wrong, you tend to do other people wrong to get them back, or it just something happens to you. Like when other people get molested, some sometimes the molested it turn into the molester. I don't know how that happens, but okay. But yeah. So, yeah. And then, the next one I want to get into, I only wrote down the people I, re you know, I thought that was, had some type of fact in the catfish situation. Then Rico and James, this was the two males, the uh, gay couple. The couple, um... They are not together. This was a couple I thought that was going to make it. I thought they was going to be together. Now, Rico, James is the one who they found out. They, he was supposed to have been a model and had a Benz. But he had pulled up in that broke down car. And I was like, look at that Benz. That Benz is doing it, honey. Yes. But they had found out he had got arrested for stealing a bus. And he had to prove his innocence. And I thought that was so hard touching and heartfelt. And I thought they was going to be together. And come to find out they they not together. But they both have, they both separately have boyfriends. And they talk every day. Like they talk like my boyfriend did this and my boyfriend did that. So I think that is great. And they are good close friends. And his mother is doing well. And um, Trina and Lee. Uh, Trina Lee, Trina, uh, the natural, honey. She's the, uh, exotic dancer. I don't want to call them strippers because, you know, that's disrespectful. <laughs> the exotic dancer, Trina, uh, and Lee, they are still friends. Now, Trina did say Lee tried to prove her, himself to be this perfect person for her. But she still couldn't get over the fact that he, he created all these lies about him, himself. So they just became good friends in the end, and um, he Lee was a super sweet guy because he said it really hurt him to see um, her at the end be emotional, and um, it made, it brought him to tears because he didn't want to see her that way and know that he hurt her, and um, and the real guy, the real Scorpio, got on the phone at the end. And he was like, they made a little joke like, why did you take so long? To, um, why you still haven't came to see uh, Trina? And they laughed it off. And he said that he was kind of flattered. But he was also kind of weirded out because another man pretending to be him. But uh, it was really nice how their segment went on. But they still talk from now and then. And I think that's pretty cool. But Trina is letting cameras come into her life. And she is going to have a real reality show. It's going to be called... The life as Trina the natural, and her hair weave was killer, honey. I liked her curls; she was doing it the ways and everything. Her outfit was pretty too. Um, so da -da -da -da, let's do the drum roll, honey, because I'm not gonna let this video go too long. Let's get it to the T, honey. What we all been waiting for? Cause this was I was waiting for, and I'm glad they jumped it off real early with this one. Missy and Jasmine. This the one I was really waiting for. First off, I don't, let me say this. I understand people's problems. I do have sympathy for some people. But some people I just don't have sympathy for. I understand when people go through things, cool. I understand uh, sometime in life people don't get um, uh, dealt a good hand. I understand that. But at some point in time, you have to take responsibility for who you are as a person. And in my, I think, in my opinion, Missy need her ass whooped. And I'm sorry if you don't agree. And I'm sorry if you think what I'm saying is harsh. But I'm a realist. And the reality is she need her ass whooped for what she did. First, she need her ass whooped. If I was Jasmine, I would have whooped her ass. Because the person she pretended to be was fine is all hell. He was a fine piece of light skin cake. And I would have been highly disappointed to know that this is not the present I was unwrapping this day. Number two, if she was really in love with this man, 
That was dumb for one, because you can't be in love with somebody over the computer. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But I would never have fell in love with somebody I have not seen personally. But when you have a connection with somebody for so many years and you think they're a real person, they saying they're going to be there for you, especially her just having a baby and somebody walking out on her, she was in a dark place. And she thought this person, Mike, was the light. And uh, first of all, I gave her a pass on her being fucked up on Catfish because she didn't know uh, the cameras. She had a little forewarning that the cameras was coming. But bitch, you knew a good six to eight months that she was going on uh, a reunion show, bitch. That weave in them eyebrows should have been down pat, bitch. There was no, the outfit was cute. It was better than that little, little ass red dress you had on. But the outfit was cute. But with some eyebrows and that weave was not. You were still not together. For you to be talking about her, Jasmine being fat and her being ugly and her to shut the fuck up. And you talking, you out here dogging people. If you gonna dog somebody and go hard on somebody, bitch, you should be looking head, head to toe. You should be looking like greatness, bitch. Shouldn't nobody say nothing is out of place if you gonna go hard on somebody. Because I could have read you from head to toe. That's all I'm trying to say. If you're going to talk about somebody and dog somebody, please have yourself together. Because them eyebrows look like they was half shaved off. That's all I'm trying to say to you, homie. But at least they match with your weave this time. I ain't going to go there too far. Um, And then, on top of her ugliness, she still wasn't going to apologize. She still wasn't remorseful what she had did to this girl. And that's what I don't like. That's why I don't feel no sympathy for what she didn't been through. Because if you're not going to be remorseful for what you didn't put somebody else through, why should somebody be remorseful for you? That's all I'm trying to say. And I do feel bad for her because she don't know what she had put. She don't have enough sense to say, I have hurt somebody. She don't have that type of common sense. And... Uh, what else? She kept being stuck on January 15th that she had Facebooked her. Okay, she Facebooked you on January 15th. So what? And who cares? You done put this girl through two and a half years of BS. So what? She she Facebooked you on one day, which is stupid and childish, which she shouldn't have done. But so what? One day compared to your two and a half years in, and... She got something on film that had been showed to the world of humiliation. For real, January 15th, I would have gave her January 15th right in her damn face. Uh, what else I wanted to say? Is she ready? Look how she was just acting. The host even was like, if you a mother, if you say you a mother, look how you acting. Let's show some type of example. This, this is who you are. She's like, this is not who I am. Yes, it is, because this is who you show in the world you are. This is how you was on Catfish, the TV show. And this is how you acting on the reunion. So, evidently, this is who you are. You is a ratty bitch. And I'm sorry to call another female a bitch, but in this case, she is a bitch. Because what she did to this girl is unacceptable. Then a girl audience asked her how long was she going to keep this going if Catfish didn't exist. She would have kept this girl in this forever. She's going to say for not too long. Yes, she would have. Then she going to ask, the other lady asked her, well, what the, did the boy feel like? You know what I'm saying? He thought it was funny. I'm pretty sure he didn't. And I'm pretty sure if somebody would have asked him if they still together today, they would. she probably would have said, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that boy is, is not with her to this day. Because he seen the way this went down, he was like, no, nah, I did not agree to this. If he was smart enough, he would have went away. But he probably ain't nothing neither. But to that note, season two, there will be a season two of Catfish. I did not catch uh, when it will be airing. I don't, I don't know if they said it, but when I find out, I will make another video to it. And, uh, and, uh, by the way, I love me some Max. I have never loved me a gray-haired man 
in all of my life. But Max is a thug, low key, cause he was like, Missy, he was like, Missy, we ain't gonna do this today, not today. I ain't having it. He was like, get it together. You know, straighten it up, cause I ain't about to have this, not on this stage. I was like, get her, Max. Get her, let her know. Gray hair, all day, every day. <laughs> but I love Max. I love him. I love me some Neve. Neve, love, Neve and Max, they love them some black women. I can sell. But Neve is a little too hairy for me. If he just wax that off, Neve can get it popping. But I love Max. I love me some gray hair, man. But that was my um, review and my outtake on Catfish, the reunion. And I can't wait to see this too. With surprises, we gonna have to come out the closet now, cause you already know season two be way worse than season one. We gonna have all type of drag queens and and hermaphrodites and and uh, grandpas and and uh, pedophiles and all type of craziness. But I love y'all. This is love. Stay loved. You are loved. Goodbye.